we have the last video of the school year here. So pretty excited about that. Uh, we're going to continue with our review of how to solve equations to try to at least refresh it so maybe it's a little bit fresh when you jump into Algebra 1 next year. Uh, remember, uh, when you go to solve an equation, first simplify each side. As you simplify, you will follow the order of operations. If there's a variable on both sides, my suggestion is to eliminate a variable first. Every time today, there'll be a variable on both sides. And lastly, once it's simplified, then solve, this time use the order of operations backwards. So get rid of addition or subtraction, then get rid of multiplication or division, et cetera, et cetera. So let's go through five examples today. We'll start out with a very simple example. So with number one, I'm gonna go back and make sure that that's not too high. Uh, there's a glare in the video. That uh, should be good. Okay. Uh, number one, we have 4x plus 3 equals 6x plus 11. 4x plus 3 equals 6x plus 11. Okay. If I look on the left side, I have two terms that are unlike, so I can't simplify. And the same is true on the right. So there is no simplifying to do. I have a variable on both sides. It does not matter which variable you get rid of as long as you get rid of one. So if you want to get rid of 4x, you would subtract 4x. If you want to get rid of 6x, you would subtract 6x. I'm going to get rid of the 4x. So I have minus 4x here. 3 equals 2x plus 11. And now this should look like the homework previously. We're down to a two-step equation. Get rid of the addition or subtraction first. So now I have negative 8 equals 2x. Divide by 2. And x is negative 4. Alright, let's look at a second example. Number 2. Let's do 3x plus 8 minus 7x equals negative 2x minus 10 minus 5x. You can give me one second. I'm going to come off camera here real quick. Sorry about that, guys. My uh, wife is on the phone making phone calls to her parents. She's a teacher as well, and my dog was barking, so I had to go let them in. Uh, so now I'm going to simplify. 3x minus 7x is negative 4x. I'm going to drop down the plus 8. Negative 2x minus 5x is all is negative 7x. Drop down the minus 10. Uh, again, I'd get rid of a variable first. I'm going to get rid of negative 7x by adding 7x. So I, now I have 3x plus 8 equals negative 10. Get rid of my constant. 3x equals negative 18. Divide by 3. And x is negative 6. So I simplified each side first, got rid of a variable, and then used the order of operations backwards by getting rid of addition, and then I got rid of division. Example number three. Something's going to happen in this one that I think some of you may have forgotten about. Let's see here. All right. 
we're going to distribute. Hopefully that's not what you forgot about because we just did that in the previous video. But after I distribute, I get 12x minus 20 equals 12x plus 4. I combine like terms there. Get rid of a variable, we'll subtract 12x, and I'm left with negative 20 equals 4. So my variable disappeared. When your variable disappears, you have two choices. It's either no solution or infinitely many solutions, aka all, all real numbers. Well, this is a false statement. A false statement means no solution. When you do your homework, if there's one like this, and there is, um, you can either type out no solution or it'll accept NS as a correct answer. Number four, we have two times the quantity of five X minus 14 equals three times the quantity of three X plus four. So distribute and I get 10 X minus 28. Distribute and I get nine X plus 12. Get rid of a variable, I'm gonna subtract nine X. So now I have x minus 28 equals 12. Get rid of that negative 28 by adding 28, and x is 40. All right, and one last example. Number five, we have five plus three times the quantity of two X plus seven equals two times the quantity of three X plus 13. Remember, don't take five plus three first because that's multiplication. You have to multiply before you add. So we're just gonna drop that five down and distribute. I get plus 6x plus 14. Distribute over here, I get 6x plus 26. Combine like terms, I get 6x plus, oh, that's three times seven, I'm sorry, that should be 21. I had 14 there, that was wrong. I took two times seven, it's three times seven, which is 21. 5 plus 21 is 26. Subtract 6x, and I get 26 equals 26. So this time my variable disappeared, but instead of having a false statement, I have a true statement. So that doesn't, uh, when it was a false statement, it meant no numbers were a solution. This means every real number is a solution. Um, all real numbers is what I prefer, but what we taught all year was infinitely many solutions because that's the way I learn said it. We didn't have to take I learn this year, thank God. Uh, infinitely many solutions or on tomorrow's homework, you can put in IMS and it will also count it correct. That's it, we're done. That's your last video. You have one um, homework assignment on Google Forms tomorrow, and that's a wrap. Now you are officially high schoolers. Congratulations. Miss you guys. Have a good summer.